G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. I'm out again with my Tasmanian Tiger Essentials day pack I've got it set up as and I've made a little change to it. So a little bit further down the track today we'll have a look. So stick around. I just finished filming back there and I turned around and there was a woman I met about 12 months ago when I was doing another video on the Bubbleman track on a little bit further north from here up at the Hewitt's Hill shelter. It's just amazing who you meet out here. Uh, just a great bunch of people, really friendly and it's like your own little community. Uh, you, you go back into the suburbs and not very many people want to say good day to you or anything they just nose in the air or head down and they go we're out here whether you know the people or not they're walking the opposite way to you 99.9% .9 of the time they'll all say good day or good morning or they'll stop and talk with you and if they walk in the same direction and even those that are walking a lot faster than you, they'll slow down and walk along with you for a short while and have a nice little yarn. It's fantastic. I just love it out here, it's just beautiful. Just spent a while at the Boar Creek shelter. There's some fantastic people there. Some have been up to the Helena shelter and spent the night. So it was very busy, but very windy too. So I'm just walking up a hill, just coming out of Boar Creek shelter, which is heading south on the Billboard track. I'm not going to continue down the track I'm going to head the opposite way just for a short distance and then I'll show you how I got the pack set up and just some of the basic things I carry on the pack and some of the things I'm experimenting with to use in the milder weather. So behind me is the way the Bilberman track normally goes, which is heading south all the way down to Albany. I've never been up this way and it's really nice. So I'm glad I've decided to come a different way to the track. So here is the Tasmanian Tiger Essentials backpack or day pack with a few bits added onto it. We've got a Tasmanian Tiger hydration pouches, the little admin pouch and the Helicon uh, pouch there which I've only just put on and I'll show you a more in depth review of that in a future video. This video is really about 
what you can actually carry on one of these. So let's show you at the beginning. This is my admin pouch, and in here I've got uh, spare batteries, emergency mirror, a uh, ferro rod, a couple of small emergency knives, emergency saw, knife sharpen at the back, my wallet. So and you could fit the keys in there also. So that's all your main gear that you need for, like, for your car and to get home and in emergencies. Like I said, the next one down below is a new Helicon one, which I have my canteen in there. I'll get all this out in a moment. But first of all, I've got a small more knife or well, campax which goes on the side nice and easy. And I have a sword Laplander pouch, one on either side. In this one I carry my bush knife, which again is uh, another mower. So if I get to camp I'll just take that out, I'll put that on my belt and I've got access to my knife to do whatever I need with that. So the next step for being self-sufficient then is this pouch, the sword Laplander pouch. And as it's named, it's got my Laplander saw in there. Button to unlock it so I can cut wood for a fire or any general survival situation or bush craft. Oh, log nearly went then. A side hydration pouch. I don't use either of these for hydration. In this side, let's open it up. I've got a spare canister. My tree straps for my hammock. A small magic carpet, which is a small tarp from DD, which will either go on the ground or I can just make a shelter up wherever I'm camping to block some of the wind coming in. Underneath that is my torrid jungle hammock. And that all fits in that one pouch. So let's put them back in there. Now I'm still experimenting with this pack, seeing what I can fit in it, where I can fit it, what I can add to it, what I can take away. But I think I'm about 90% there. And in this hydration pouch on this side, I've got another gas canister. And let's get from the side first. Some stakes for the guy ropes for the tarp. The Helicon Poncho, which can be used as a tarp as well as a raincoat. And at the bottom, I've got hoochie cord as guy lines. So this poncho I use with the Swagman, and I'll show you the the complete setup of both of these and what you can do with it in a later video too. And the Swagman I've got inside here which I'll be showing you in a moment. So 
and I'm just putting everything back as I go so I'm not going to lose anything and all of these pouches on here apart from the Helicon one at the front I've done reviews on and I'll put links to them down in the section below So in the canteen pouch, the Helicon one, which on here I used to have the uh, Tactical Pouch 6, I think it was, from Tasmanian Tiger. And then I saw this the other day and it was perfect for what I wanted it for. So let's show you what I've got in it. We've got side pockets here. I've got a multi-tool. I've got my small BRS stove. I've got my mini Inferno. And I've got a second ferro rod here my hand in and I got a small lighter in with my BRS gas stove so there's three ways of starting fire I carry on me large ferro rod small ferro rod and gas lighter in there on this side in the pocket my tea coffee quick deploy ridge line or if it's in there with plenty of room And another reason I was excited about this was the Dave Canterbury canteen kit, cook kit all fits in here. So it is a bit tight when you've got stuff in your pack. So let's get it out and show you. Actually we'll empty the inside first and then it'll be easier for me to get to that. So which I'm trying out at the moment is the jungle blanket from Snog Pack. So that'll be my top blanket. And at the bottom is the Swagman poncho liner, which can be zipped up and used as a sleeping bag. And it says here, hammock under quilt, universal blanket. Uh, you can use it as a inner sleeping bag for a modular sleeping system. And like I said, the poncho liner or wubby. And then two items take up most of the internal there. You can fit my two litre water bladder in there as well as these. But let's get this out now. My fork and spoon set. Fish mouth spreader. To hold my canteen above the fire when using it. The 1.1 litre Pathfinder canteen. It's not a tight fit, but it is a snog fit. So it doesn't just come out with ease. But I'll get it out eventually. And that is the Pathfinder canteen cup and a wood burning stove and the lid also all fits in that one pouch and there is another pouch at the back there if you needed to drop another ferro rod in there or any fire lighters or anything along them lines or even your tea or coffee would fit down there nice behind these so let's put all this back do my best to keep everything organized again so I don't lose anything so I mean it slides in easy it's just awkward to get out and there's the canteen And that'll fold down and lock into place. Let's put these back. And I've got these in the pouch at the moment behind in that small pocket. They will be getting swapped for a different set for this pack. 
that they're good enough for now. And like I said, we've got the Swagman, which uh, advanced poncho liner. Everything on in here that I have done a review of, I'll put down below. And everything I haven't done a review of, or I don't put down below, I'll be doing a review of in the future. So don't worry, you'll get to see more about these. I want to try them out first and use them just so I can give you a decent honest review and look at them. But that fits right down in the bottom of these. I could put down a compression sack and make it even smaller. I said here's the snog pack jungle blanket. So when I'm using this down here for an under quilt I can use it as a top quilt. And because it's only really for one night or emergency or a day or maybe two nights at the most it's not going to be that heavy or not too heavy for that scenario So let's do this bottom compression strap back up. I can be tugged a little bit tighter, I think. Yep. Took the more knife camp axe in there. Bring the top compression strap around. And there it is holding the axe in place. And there's still room in the top here to put a couple of days worth of food in if you want. The canteen can be replaced with the smaller one and you'll be able to fit food in there. <laughs> it works out nice. I haven't been able to find a pouch that will hold that kit in there with everything and extra space with such a nice fit and this Helicon one has worked out really good and really nice for that. So just initially from just getting it and putting things in it it's something I think you should look at if, if you're after something like this. I've got four or five other pouches great for their setups but none of them are as good as this. This is even better than the pouches that come with the actual Dave Canterbury canteen kits themselves so look into this or wait until you see my review and see what I think of it and I'll give you a full review of it and tell you exactly about it and then if you like it go and get yourself one. I'll put a link also down below to a company you can buy most of this from actually I think I got well yep that came from them that came from them got them then most of this kit came from the same company here in Australia but there's many companies around the world that also sell this type of gear but this camo for the Tasmanian Tiger I believe what I've been told that is it's only sold in Australia it was made for the Australian market so that's it that's the Tasmanian Tiger Essentials day pack if you want to call it that or small backpack the actual pack itself on its own is I believe around the 9 litre capacity. I got a uh, khaki coloured one, same or very similar and on that tag it said 6 litres so I go between 6 and 9 litres but you've seen what can fit in a pack you've got the molly webbing on it or the molly system so you can add pouches to make it go even further and as you can see on this one I've got everything I need there I, I could probably make it work even better with different uh, equipment like I said a smaller cook kit in there would give me more room to put food in that pouch uh, maybe a down small down under quilt would help with the, uh, the swagman that means it'd give me more room if I got rid of the swagman replace that with a down under quilt 
and a down top quilt and it'd give me even more room in the main pack but at the moment this setup will work as the as long as the temperatures don't get below the five seven degrees centigrade which i believe is they say double it at 30 or is it yeah double it which is say 5 10 and then add 30 which is about the 40 degrees fahrenheit temperature then this will all work but then if we're looking at going with the down stuff to make it lighter and smaller the price is going to go way up more than double maybe treble the cost so for let's say for a third of the cost of all the down top quilts under quilts and all the super lightweight stuff you can achieve exactly the same with probably only about an extra kilo one and a half kilos in weight so you're only going to be carrying what's in this pack now I've probably got including water the whole thing is probably five kilos so five kilos say six kilos worst case scenario <laughs> that's fine and then the weight of your food so if you're going to go with your freeze dried that's only going to be say half a kilo for three four maybe five days depending on how much you eat or if you're going to go with the campers uh, not the campers pantry um, the happy camper food which is all hydrated already all you do is pour it in your pot and warm it up they're only weighing about 350 grams a meal so if you're going out for a couple of nights three nights you're going to be carrying less than 10 kilos and have a nice compact small pack like this so I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have and it's the first time you've been to my channel please go down below and click on that subscribe button and click on the like button and also click on the notification bell so you can be notified of all future videos and if you are already a subscriber again I thank you very much so until next time Get out there, have some fun and take care.